Welcome back to the Dynasty Football Key. We've got some more signings. Naheem Hines, good to see him back. He had that accident in the last offseason on the jet ski, uh, tearing his ACL due to a crash. And now he's back and he's signing with the Browns for one year. So um, not good for some of the running backs in that backfield, especially with Nick Chubb coming back uh, at some point. So there's about three, maybe four running backs already signed there. So we'll see how that rotation shakes out. But uh, you know, I wouldn't expect too much of a large role from Naheem Hines with he himself coming back from that injury. And then we've also got Joe Mixon. Looks like he's going to be traded to the Texans. So uh, they let Devin Singletary walk in free agency. And now it looks like they've got the next running back for their backfield. And right now, Mixon's RB56, 27 years old. Uh, and we'll see how much uh, longer uh, it is till he's 28, but uh, yeah, generally, he's been in the 250 point range and he'll be on another efficient offense. This is kind of a lateral offense from uh, overall points scored wise. The Bengals scored a ton of points and the Texans will too. So this is not a downgrade really just from a dynasty perspective. He's just a year older and now in a new offense. And unless they sign him to an extension, maybe he's on a new team next season. Uh, so he would probably jump at least above J.K. Dobbins here and above Miles Sanders. I think when Derrick Henry signs, he'll raise up here as well. Uh, but probably in this RB45 range, just from a dynasty perspective, um, I could see how he's definitely going to be ahead of the non-rookies, like a Khalil Herbert, and he'd be ahead of Audric Estime just based on the profile and ahead of Chase Brown since it seems like um, you know, they're going to have their running back situation solidified. So, yeah, really uh, just behind Najee Harris. If Zemir White ends up actually keeping the starting job, Mixon might be behind him uh, just based on age. If White becomes, you know, you know able to take that next step. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really in this late RB 30-ish range is where Mixon would be. Uh, it, just, it really just depends on how these other players develop. We're a little bit younger. So, yeah, you could probably get Mixon for around a late second round pick value if you really want to add him to your team. Yeah, and the Bengals are all set with Zach Moss there. And it looks like we've got another signing. Falcons are signing wide receiver Darnell Mooney to a three-year, $39 million deal with $26 million guaranteed per rap sheet. So I've been holding on to Mooney just as the final piece of my roster just in case uh, something happens. You know, he was in a situation in Chicago where his quarterback was, uh, you know, maybe second to last in passing yards uh, total in the league. So just not as much volume in the Bears offense previously. So now with Kirk Cousins, you know, he's going to be that wide receiver two behind Drake London and probably still behind Pitts and maybe even Bijan as far as passing pecking order. Still worth a flyer. I'd say if we were to take a look at Darnell Mooney, where he's currently at wide receiver 82. Uh, and there's a lot of rookies here that you might want to take a shot on. Um, I probably am not moving up Mooney just since he is a crowded wide receiver room. And we know that London's going to be the number one. And there's a lot of other options there as well. But with cousins, he has had a lot of pass volume. So maybe he could be a wide receiver four or five on your team and have some good weeks here or there. You know, he could be probably, yeah, probably just stays in this range that he, he's been in, uh, you know, just from a long term dynasty perspective and, and really just value that you can get on the market. So this would be around a fourth round pick value, but he probably would produce. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those players that's going to be hard to want to give up what it costs to trade for them based on what else you could spend that uh, asset on instead of. Uh, you know, trading to acquire for Darnell Mooney. So tough spot. If you've already got him, I would hold on. If he's a free agent, I would pick him up and probably wouldn't try to spend what it would cost to trade for him unless it's like a fifth round pick. That's all I got for now. Give me a like and subscribe and we'll check in with you soon.